Welcome back to Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Brett. The video today for Modern Dating. Single woman says this. Man's response is wild. Please write them below. I really appreciate that. Let's get that chow. It's chow time. Wait, can I have a bite? I only got this one taco. You got all that food. Okay, but that looks really good. I said I wanted to try that one. This is the only thing I got. I only got one. I got one. I'm just going to take a little and bite. I don't want no ribs. I, I just want, want a little either. bite. Just a little one. The man don't want your food. Just a little one. You never share. I can't even get the first bite, though. No, let me have it. And then you can have a rib. I don't want, want your ribs. Why? I have a lot of them. I just don't want that. I told you I didn't want that. I want that. I want to talk up. Let me have a bite. Let me have a bite. Come on. Uh, just bite it already, here. brother. Just have it. I don't even want it. Anymore. Should I have all of this? I don't even want it. What are you going to eat? Why? Let's just make some food at home. Yeah, he's just so done. So this date isn't going too well thus far. And this is, I think this is a problem, actually. Stand your ground and don't give her your food. Men need to put women in their place, especially in this type of scenario right here. Four. And let's continue. Just eat your freaking taco. But let me have a bite first. Ooh, it's the best part right here. You taking a beat. You just dropped the food. Mm. Mm. It's fine. That was fun. good. It's fine. Eat it, it's good. Have one more. Mmm, it looks so good. Yeah, I want to throw that in I don't know why now. You eat a bite. Come on, dude. You, you, you're being too passive about this. Like, I, I understand to not, you know, escalate and to not fucking argue and stuff. This is complete bullshit. And I'm gonna get another bite. It's fine, you can just have it. You hungry, right? I don't like where this is going. Alright, I don't You're six four. Get out. Here. Wait. Wait. Yeah, he really seems super nice and was so patient there. But in a situation like that, you do not get mad. You At move on to bigger and better things. Now on a more positive note, this next one's what you want in a relationship. Baby. Can I see your phone? Yeah. Can you add it to me? You don't care? No. I have your phone in my hand. I'm gonna go and look through it. I don't care. There's nothing on there. Into it with their partners they don't want to be a wife they don't want to be a partner they don't want that physical connection if that's the case it makes sense why these guys don't want to get freaking married no shit outside of the whole oh i'm getting divorced and my ex took all my money mm -hmm. what happened once you said i do that what all of a sudden you're too tired you know you no longer want that physical connection right they're not gonna go and be spontaneous in that environment um doing those deeds if you want to get a guy when you start dating them let's not jump into relationships and stop being intimate because you're hurting the rest of the single people out there because these guys leave those relationships just pissed yeah, well, mm. that problem can also occur while they're your girlfriend, too. And it's True. not just intimacy, but also respect and appreciation. Now, this next one explains why he shouldn't be so attracted. When a man likes a woman more than he, she likes him, he becomes emasculated. He loses his masculinity to please her. He becomes a people pleaser. He'll bend over backwards. And in his desperate attempt to keep her, he loses the attraction even more so. Have I met my true love, man? Yes, do not be a people pleaser. For one, you can't please everyone. You can't even please all the people in your life. I can't please my dad, my aunts, and all my cousins, and my fucking sister and brother. Like, no, some of the things I do are going to displease them. It is what it is. You just have to accept it. You have to move on from it and learn that, yes, even though they don't approve, as long as you're not doing anything crazy or outrageous or illegal, just keep moving forward. Man, let's see, let's see. Who I gotta pray. Do I have to, I have to go like this? Hey, bro, come on now, dog. 
I think me and my boyfriend just need to take a break. Why? I don't know. We just don't have that spark anymore. And our conversations just aren't as exciting as they used to be. And how long have you been dating? Like a year. And are you guys going to date other people? I don't know. Maybe. Are you guys allowed to sleep with anyone else during your break? I don't know. We haven't gotten to that yet. Well, how long is your break going to last? I don't know. Why do you have so many questions? To make a point. Do you see how all of these lines are blurred? It feels like you haven't even stopped to think about why you feel how you feel. If you want to date other people because you don't like him anymore, just admit that. But if you think these honeymoon vibes are going to sustain with anyone during the entirety of a long-term relationship, you're dreaming. Why? Because the excitement is naturally going to decrease. The longer you date someone, fewer stones are left unturned. You fall into a rhythm and you want to date someone where that rhythm is enjoyable, not exciting. If you re-entered the dating pool, wouldn't you be looking for someone just like your boyfriend? Yeah, I guess. Then just sit down and figure it out. Stop chasing the constant dopamine rush of early dating and learn to be happy with someone you love. Oh! And this can be said the same thing to guys. Like, yes, guys do this too not to the same degree but some of us think that we can do better and sometimes the person that loves us is the best that we can do far too often relationships can end because someone got bored but just because there's no drama does not mean it's unsatisfying now this next one's a w oh, in spite no. of a tough situation guys were bringing in the wedding cake they accidentally dropped it and the bride was standing there watching just stunned but her husband's reaction showed that she married a good one going over there and eating it off the ground waving her over well, I like a man to be bigger My than man. me and to be and to be have a strong character somebody who has a stronger character than I have well, I'm very attracted to men who are able to sing and play music, interested in music and singing. Do they have to be physically big men? Oh, no, not necessarily. No, I like the... See, back in the day, it wasn't physicality and money. It was their personality, their interests. you people who are slim and trim. Well, Carl, I don't go out with a specific idea in mind, but I do find that I, I think certain people are attractive, and they're usually fairly slim and athletic type people but they're not enormous big uh sort of apollo type specimens of humanity which i find rather disgusting looking why do you find this so well um th the problem if you go to an apollo place and start doing bodybuilding and so on is, is that you will get uh, overweight or you will get so developed that you look rather like what you might expect to find in a zoo for example you know it's interesting because money. they didn't even mention money once nope. so doing that same interview must be a bit different today next we have a tough situation where a wife just didn't want to show some text messages if, if you asked me i would like yeah you could look because i have nothing to hide You're, you have some, so you have something to hide you have not actually done that what ever you, in your what is it you're hiding I'm not hiding a phone. Then just hold your phone and let me see what you wrote. I am not hiding anything. Then, then hold your phone and let me see what you wrote. Okay, I'm gonna go. Liam, let's go. Right there. This is abuse right here, guys. She's gonna consider this abuse. Consider this emotional abuse. Fucking trying to trap her. I can't. I made her cry? Yeah, because you're you're cornered. I'm cornered. Yes, you, because you're you, because you're doing something that's wrong. That's why. <laughs> Then let me see. Hold your phone and let me see if you're not doing anything wrong. Anything that's wrong in the fact. She belongs in the streets. I can't. Because I saw the text messages that I read that you wrote was someone that's a little bit thirsty on your end. Mm -hmm. Again. <laughs> it's kind of like thirsty. Yeah, on your end. The dogs are like, don't let her take me. <laughs> I you yeah, it seems like way. her stepping out gives her enough time to hide the messages. This next one's simply not her fault. Whatever happened to hello? Listen. Let me take you to dinner. Can I take you out for a date? Now it's like, drink your cup of chill. Like, who raised these boys? You single Look, mother. I just matched with this guy on Bumble named Nate. Look at him. He... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Oh my god, I did not mean to that. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> hey, I was just wondering if you go by Will or William. I just need to know what to put on our wedding invitations. Thank you. <laughs> Where are you traveling to next? I would really like to tag along as long as everything's free for me. Thank you. <laughs> hey, bro, come on now, dog. God damn, you look like my girl. And they say the messages that they get from men are stupid and retarded. Those are the messages that we get from women. 
Girlfriend. Oh, yeah? Oh, you want to see her? Oh. Uh, oh. When are you going to take me shopping? Oh, no, nah, you look like my ex now. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that was quick. Instant girlfriend, instant ex. But didn't she just go shopping? This is the biggest dick in a guy. Oh my god, oh. long shorts. Like down, like, like, that go, like, like passionese? Yeah. Mine is if he has like a piece of paper that he drops and the wind's blowing it away and he's like trying to go after the piece of paper in the wind. Or he, he respects the earth though. You can't chase after the shit you dropped now or what? <laughs> okay, out of curiosity, are we even allowed to breathe? Like, come on. And why is Don't Love Your Mother on the list? To be fair, this next one can go both ways. Hey, I was just, you know, wondering, who told boys that... It's sexy. I don't get it. Am I supposed to be attracted to... Am I supposed to be like, wow, me rajasam tadap raha hai or me rajil dak dak karke jakar ma raha hai? You look like a housefly. Hmm? Don't do it. Can't check my oil without yeah. being bombarded. It's all good. I, maybe I still want to agree with that. <laughs> all right. Yeah, it's just oil. <laughs> Can't check my oil without being bombarded. Where? All I see is a gentleman that's being kind and offering to see if you need help. As well as this video discourages people from helping other people in society, which we need more of. I know if I ever see anybody broken down or in this situation, I always offer to stop and give them help. You know, it's really sad that you would take advantage of a situation. You know, I would do this now, but only for men. I would not do this for women anymore. Just... The sheer danger that can be can it, it can lead to for yourself. It's too much. Like this, just to get some likes and views on social media. You need to do better. Mind your own business. That's a W. Because you know, I always record myself when I'm checking my oil, of course. Yeah. Next one might be a bit rough. How long would you wait for? You got three kids, ain't no husband nowhere around, you're not a prize bump. You think I'm going to sit here and let you talk about hairlines being too far back or they being too short, but you got three kids, you ain't never been married. Like, ain't nothing wrong with you. There's something wrong with you, too. You had three different opportunities. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to let it girl. happen. You know, what happened to humility? What, what, why, why we got to be, why we can't be humble no more? Why we, <laughs> I try to always give thanks from where I'm at. That's a W. Would you rather have a rich cheater or a broke faithful guy? Broke faithful guy. Why is that? Because I don't want to, I don't care about money. You know? Like, you don't care. Like, let's say the love of your life is only making 30K a year. You wouldn't care. 20K. No, because it's, I don't need them to buy me the things I want. Like, I'll do that myself. I don't really okay. care. I'd rather have someone that's loyal than someone that just. If there is in fact she's genuine act 100 truth behind her words then somebody please marry right. her because the value of loyalty can be greatly underestimated these days next one has a great analogy when my needs are met and i feel safe and secure in my relationship that allows my feminine energy to come out he can expect to be treated like a king if a man's making me feel valued i will make sure that he feels valued as well all right so let me break this down real quick so we got a table and she's being served tea. What's tea? Tea is time, energy, and attention. She's feeling really good about herself. She's feeling happy. She's feeling secure. She's feeling provided for. And she's waiting to give back to him until she's fully taken care of. And he's getting nothing in return. So what happens? He leaves. He disappears. He's gone. Where is he, you might ask? 
Um, he's anywhere else. He's over here uh, just having a good time, living his best life. Midtown. Alone. She is not happy. She's like, what the hell happened? He just went and found someone else that uh, would give him tea back. And they both give each other tea. And they're both super happy. Props for the effort in this next one. For his snap. <laughs> I was wondering if I can get your Snapchat. No, I'm not asking. Uh, is there a reason? Just... Not asking. <laughs> Sorry about that. So I told her that I'm going to go out late right now. Right. To go buy something. And what'd you say, babe? To just break up with me. She did me well, but... Once I realized that he was not my husband, because I'm only looking for husband energy at the moment, I ended things with him, and I sent him a text. Who the fuck comes in with husband energy? I'll come in with single guy energy. I don't know about this husband energy. It's like it wasn't that serious, you know, I didn't feel like I needed to like do it in person. Anyway, so I sent him a text, told him that I didn't see it going any further, and he agreed. He agreed. He said that he didn't think that he could make me happy. And while I appreciate that, it was a very kind response. He didn't even try. He didn't even try and say that he like wanted to change, that he wanted to like Why would he? whatever. Like, I can be manipulated. I will <laughs> tell on themselves, guys. This is what they want. They want you to tell them the sweet, sweet nothings. They want you to manipulate them and do all these things. They want you to play games with them. Instead of being straightforward, I want to be with you, I want to build a family with you, and all this. No, they play these stupid games. We'll listen to you. <laughs> but you didn't even try. Well, actually, that right there seems like husband energy because he wasn't willing to play games. Mm. But make it make sense. These next couple ones will get you thinking. For my ring, my cost, I say like 50000 He definitely will have a loving wife, a loving mother of the kids, a supportive Stop the cap. I am great as a concept, but as a real person, that's all I have to say about that, you know? Hello? Yeah. What's up? What you doing? Nine. Yeah, what, what, what you ate today? Nine. How you day was? Nine. Hey, bro, you want me to charge you? Yeah, charge right here. See, bro, see, that's why I don't like being on the phone with you because I'm on the phone with you. Every time I get on the phone with you, you want to talk to somebody else. Like, what? Dang. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, I don't want to be on the phone with you because I'm on the phone with you. Every time I get on the phone with you, you want to talk to somebody else. Like, what? Dang. Oh. I mean, what's up? What's up? Talk to me. What, what you want to talk about? Nine. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like a valid reason to dump them and move on with your life. Even if you have great patience. Plenty of red flags in this next one. Next month I'll be 59. Is that bad? No, I, I generally date men younger than that. Really married once? Never married, never lived with a man. And how about yourself? You've been married more than once? Yeah. How many times? <laughs> Three. Really? I, I wonder when someone's married I mean, I'll tell you, I'll be just brutally honest. I wouldn't, you know, had we not been set up this way, I would not date somebody that's been married three times ordinarily. Do you want to end the date here? Do you want to go home? No, I mean, no. I mean, we're talking, we're getting to know each other and I'm certainly going to, you know, give the date a chance. Stop the cap. <laughs> nothing, and I mean nothing on this planet is more embarrassing than when you decide to go for the guy that has the personality instead of the looks and you still get played out here have such strict criteria for the people that they date and have no damn criteria for the people that they lay in bed with and have kids with as long as he looks good as long as he's attractive because how the hell are you going to tell me that in regards to people that you date they have to be you know make six figures or seven figures or have a good job or be able to fly you out to anywhere in the world or buy you all the expenses gifts or take you to the expensive restaurant restaurants but the man that you chose to have a kid with with, 
is the same man that is going to bathe his skin with dish detergent and dry himself off with the dirty clothes he just took off. Explain that one. Possible. Very possible. It's all right. Exactly, man. Must stay focused. That's literally them rejecting you without directly saying it. Given the abundance of options, it's hard to settle. Check out the difference in salary demands in this next one. How much do you expect your future husband to earn to provide a comfortable life here in the Philippines? I think around... <laughs> around like don't be shy spill it out <laughs> 30 to 50k char 30 to 50 thousand pesos okay so that's about you know maximum of a thousand dollars per month you think that would be enough for you to have a comfortable life here with yes. kids as well yes so how much money is rich to you 50k 50k is that per month or per year per month per month oh okay I feel like like 300,000 anywhere from 70 to 100k. See, this is a little bit disingenuous. I will admit that just because the Philippines uh living costs are just so much lower, but I also admit these women are just completely delusional too. I would have to say 127 500,000 dollars. <laughs> Is that bad? Probably 150 to a quarter of a million a year. Just to have like a really decent lifestyle and, and you'll know, be supported well. Like. like even if I made that kind of money, none of the women that are on this particular panel are that extravagantly beautiful. They're just normal average women. 150, maybe to 250,000 a year. My husband needs to be making like 650,000. Hey bro, come on now, dog. Come on, man. You should make per year. I mean, if I'm like dating them, it'd be nice if they were at least making a hundred thousand. Like a million? Two million? Five hundred grand? A lot. We're expensive. Yeah. Mills. Millions. Oh. Um, let me think. Five hundred thousand? Like, do you know like how difficult that is? Just give us some emotion. Something on the human range of emotions other than just straight down the middle. You know how much nicer this picture would be? If you just smiled, like you look like, I don't know, it kind of looks like you're on standby. You'd be excited if you were, I don't know, about to go to Ocean Beach. Or for dinner at a fancy restaurant. On a private boat in a pretty marina. Like you say you're looking for someone with more personality than a toaster, but you're showing less personality than the wall you plug one into currently. Mm. Way to win me over is a northern accent. Thanks. That. Might seem a bit closer to an application for something like Love Island. But true honesty is a great thing because it allows us to simply reflect and grow. If you can't accept it. I want to be with you. And I want to be with you and others. What? Hey, bro, come on what? now, dog. I just love you. I miss you. This is so much, bro. Like, literally want to cry, bro. It's, I'm really dramatic. I'm sorry. I'm such a baby over here, too. So I'm sorry about that, too. I just miss you. And when I don't get what I want, I want to cry. So, yeah. She, in fact, seems to be a keeper. And you gotta love seeing the effort, because that can just be a rare thing nowadays. You're just being childish. I don't care. You're being extremely childish. I don't childish. care. Super childish. You are be you are being childish. You're super childish. I don't care. Legend says that she still doesn't care. <laughs> Would much rather have peace than drama. Thank you very much. <laughs> Economy class proposal. Next one might give you some motivation. Age range of your ideal man. 27 to 29. Minimum height. Six. Jeez. Minimum income he needs to make. 100K. Probability of you finding your ideal man is 0%. They want you rich. They want you jacked, tall, handsome, all of the above. They're going to have a million standards for you. And I want you to ask yourself this. What kind of standards do you have for them, homie? It's bad. Misery loves company. I'm going to be honest with you and I'm going to tell you what hitting the wall means. They value beauty, youth, and they value someone that respects themselves. <laughs> When you start aging, 
your biological clock is ticking and that is just a real fact going into your 30s your options are going to be less than when you were in your 20s and you're going to be competing now with the 20 year olds and then now when you're ready to start settling down and possibly start thinking about having kids those same guys might feel like you're rushing them and they might not want the same things at this point yep so then the dating market starts getting stressful because now they're biological clock is really ticking and they want to go through the stages and then a lot of them end up single a lot of them end up childless because they chose to have fun in their 20s instead of looking for a relationship yes we definitely need more of this in today's world as they say the early bird gets the worm next one's got some great points relationships are so up in this generation because people think that you can still operate however you want to when you're in a relationship yep. and that's not the case you are now dealing with someone else's emotions what you do will impact someone else you chose this so act accordingly one time i let this guy take me out to dinner and after we ordered our food i go to check my phone i'm on my phone for like 30 seconds he got up and left and left me at the restaurant because I was on my phone. He didn't even say anything either. He just quietly got up and left. I'm not spending money on expensive first dates. I ain't doing it. I'm 26 years old and never had a girlfriend. Today is my birthday, February 12th, and I would really appreciate it if you would all not mention or say to me, happy birthday. better and no matter what you have to love yourself even though others may not that is step one. Oh, i got a girlfriend i got a girlfriend i got yo watch out bro i got a girlfriend yo hold on now nah. i'm gonna ignore him all day so he knows i'm mad yeah. what a nice quiet day yeah it's a good day today it's like getting ignored actually provides you with a mini vacation and not much is more peaceful than solitude so enjoy it now check out her friend's ring price should spend on a wedding ring i definitely want a huge rock so i'm gonna guess that it, it probably cost about at least like five hundred thousand dollars what my friend and i have been together for five years during these five years i adopted four cats oh Excuse god me. yes four cats you have four cats <laughs> yes okay. two stay with me two at my mom's house so he never likes cats and he thinks that i spend a lot of the man doesn't like cats and you adopted four while you were with him uh, too much time with my cats and too much money on my cats because on the weekends I go to them, my mom's house and say like stay like two nights with her and my other cats and then most nights at home I'm on the couch with my cats and so <laughs> and so recently he gave me this ultimatum he said look you gotta choose between me and your cats now look I love my boyfriend but I love my cats those are my babies like they're my kids all right so my question is how can I get him to compromise with me and the cats to save our relationship this this is really like got your relationship in trouble yes he wants to go he's like look it's either me or the cats he is done he had the nerve <laughs> well what'd you say he has some nerve he got some nerve yeah. what's your biggest second like when they no okay say it, say it. i dated a woman with 11 cats didn't know she had 11 cats when i dated her Never went to her apartment or went to her house ever. Oh, no, no, that was so mean. I was gonna say, if they're like really nice, it's such an ick. Okay, even she knows that was a little bit ridiculous. Apparently, it's starting to be more and more understandable to just be alone. Are you lonely? Yeah. <laughs> just got out of a three hour movie and didn't check my phone the Zero notifications. You wish that was you, huh? Ah! Uh, be careful with that, cause someone might just be walking home. Cause jokes can sometimes be too cold. Are you single though? Am I single? Yeah, you're cute. No, I have a boyfriend. It's all good. I mean, we could be friends. We could just be friends. IG, 
Instagram? That's her I'm thinking right now. now. No. <laughs> no, my boyfriend wouldn't like that. Yeah. That you follow? You tell me. Okay. okay, put it down. <laughs> Dang, I wouldn't even actually. Hold on. Hold on. Touch me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on now. See, this is the bullshit about fucking society, right? This woman can go around feeling up all up under there trying to grab this man's junk or whatever she was trying to do. Imagine if a man did this and he fucking grabbed her somewhere, shape or form that she didn't like. He's going to jail. I want him. Oh, she want to play, boy. How you feel about her? You oh. feel like you bring your around this carpet thing. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Oh. Let it go. Jeez. Brother, you about to get ridden. <laughs> the look of fear in his eyes as he casually gets lifted. I mean, you gotta give props to the confidence at least. Moving on. It's in the friend zone. Because we don't like them, they're too nice. What's wrong with being nice? We like toxic. What type of toxic? Don't reply. What are y'all still doing in America? Like, this could be 5.30 on a Thursday night for you if you just book a friggin' flight. Book a freaking flight. Do you know a freaking flight costs two freaking ten thousand? You feel me? Two freaking thousand dollars. Don't you feel like we're having a good time? This is where I, I love credit cards. Okay, I'm not telling you guys to go in fucking debt. Don't use credit cards unless you can fucking pay it off. I pay my credit card off every week. I've had my credit cards for quite a few years now. I literally have like four. Cambodia trips or four Southeast Asian trips or one good, you know, first class trip to Cambodia or Southeast Asia just through points, just by spending my normal spending habits and buying stuff with only the credit card. It gives me 2% back and towards points. Guys, it's worth it. But again, you have to pay your credit card off. Don't be crazy and just leave balances. Are you going to get so why don't we ever get back together? We should. No, I think we should. Are you sure? Why do you say that? Leave him alone. I mean, he just wants to survive. It may just not be meant to be, and that is perfectly okay. Move on. This next one is goals for plenty. seems pretty accurate but we have to take accountability for what we do why do you trust your girl i trust her i trust her you trust her yeah would you let him go through your phone yeah i don't want to get my feelings hurt you gonna do me like that yeah, i mean say you trust her yeah. we gotta go through snapchat you get this in the video yeah. who's trent my friend i don't know we gotta look at the chat no i don't know the man said i didn't want to get my feelings hurt so you knew already brother is that what 
asked what that was? No, I'm scared. Hold on, let me know. Do you know who Trent is? No clue. We need to find out who Trent is today, huh? I don't really care. Do you don't care? <laughs> Okay, he was low-key hurt in that one, and it seems like he would just rather not know. Seems like the truth can be hard to accept. Next one is just plain epic. This is my favorite. Is your best friend? You never f I really want to go see this guy live, because he does L.A. a lot, too. Or L.A. and uh, Irvine a lot. I want to go see this guy. Well, how long are you going to keep leading him on? <laughs> Dude, she's a big girl. Pay this whole bill? Don't pay the whole bill. You want it? You want it? Cute guy, huh? Hey, sit next to her. Put sit next to her. Let me carry me. Hey, 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 hey. Keep that face straight. Show her straight. Sit Like when something is fine, it's not fine. Like read between the lines. You mean be a mind reader? Yeah, exactly. Hey, bro, come on now, dog. Are you a teenager? No. How old are you? I'm 24. Oh, too old. Oh, expired. <laughs> Expired bro thinks he's DiCaprio. I mean, some would say 24 is too old, while others not so much, but it's your preference. I'm not gonna thank my husband for putting a new trash bag into the trash can. I'm not gonna thank him for putting his clothes in the hamper. I'm not gonna thank him for unloading the dishwasher. I'm not gonna thank him for changing a diaper. I'm not gonna thank him for cleaning a toilet. I'm not gonna thank him for making the bed. I'm not gonna thank him for doing any of the things that just come with living in a house. Like, if he would have to do it, if I didn't live here, like if he lived by himself and that was still a required task, I'm not saying thank you. That is just part of existing in a functioning home. I'm not sure where this line of thought came right. from, that if we say thank you or show any type of gratitude, that we are enabling lazy and, and that we will end up receiving less. W. That's E1. What's y'all's greatest life accomplishment? Life accomplishment? Uh... My greatest accomplishment would be... What's your greatest life accomplishment? My greatest life accomplishment is... What's going on? They can't say it? Fuck. Making money okay, okay, and having the car that I... Oh, you're wondering if she likes you? She doesn't give up. Stop trying. Just leave, let, it, let it go. I bet. Thanks, bro. You have to have an awesome life so that no matter what happens, you're still okay. Damn right. When are things going to go back to where you can work and support your family without stressing out? Seriously, my bills alone are $3,000 a month. I'm a single mom who receives like $300 a month in child support for two kids. I can't do this anymore. I work every single day. I get maybe a day off. Sometimes if I'm lucky, I'll get two days off. I'm sick of it. Right. I'm so sick of this. You were married. What happened? You decided you did better. Ready or Okay, that is in fact good on her. But they could still be nice to others as long as they don't outwardly crave attention. It's okay to be a human being. So I'm gonna have to pass on you. I'm so sorry. That's cool. I'm free anyway. What? She been waiting all day to say that, bro. Like, she didn't need... <laughs> oh, I don't want to talk about it. What you talking about? Get your... I don't know what like, bro. Men are so funny. They'll be like, I think about you all the time. I can't stop thinking about you. You're all I think about. Okay, babe, why is my phone dry? Uh, yeah, because you're spending a lot of that time thinking and not actually doing. But I'm right here. One text away, so just so you know. Huh? If you were in a relationship, would you ever uh, allow your man to have a say in what you wear if you were wearing something provocative? Yes, but I, I don't think that if I'm wearing something, I wouldn't wear something overly provocative, provocative if I was in a relationship. Okay. Can you explain why? Because it's disrespectful. Damn right. Because why would I wear something that's going to show off for other men if I'm with mine? See, this... I like her. Slightly overweight. Decent face. Sounds like a nice person. I wouldn't mind dating someone like this. As long as they got the mentality... And, you know, at least our goals match up. 
I don't mind if they're a little bit bigger. I don't mind if they're not a seven or an eight or a nine. I don't, I care about the loyalty. I care about the sustenance and the reciprocation. You know what I mean? No, 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 no. Like, like my... These people go out love you. You see, that's the energy we need. And impressing the partner should be the priority. Well done. I am a boyfriend of a bunch of gifts to heal this inner child. Remember your worth. Remember what you have to give in a relationship. And if a woman is not matching that, get the f out. Don't be in that. Don't keep settling for the back minimum. Protector. Why stay somewhere or around someone that simply doesn't see your value? Because I know you. Don't do it anymore. It's really bad. Why? Because it travels up your spine and into your brain, and then you have shitty thoughts. <laughs> she was about to let one rip. But you've got to love the concern, as that's definitely a good sign. Shout outs to Modern Dating. That was a nice long compilation. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please subscribe them below. I really appreciate that. I'll catch you next time. Bye.